I said, I hope we get in a wreck that'll make this more exciting. It's in the more I do these, it's inevitable. Um, okay, so when I turned 15 years old, the day I turned 15, literally March 5th, I went to the Idaho DMV to get my driver's license. So that you show up, they give you like a six pack and a shotgun. And yeah, I mean, I literally, I was like four foot nine. I have my driver's license and I'm driving home from ninth grade with my two buddies, Andy and Trevor. And I'm following my buddy, Jamie, who also is lucky enough to have his ninth grade driver's license. So I'm following him and he, for some reason, veers off onto this Road. So he starts like kind of like you know doing cookies and stuff, right. and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> and I'm like you know you know it's just fish dude, tailing, right? yeah, you're fish tailing. I want mine. You're invincible. You're 15 years. Yeah, I'm like I got my driver's license. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. All of a sudden I get going too fast and too crazy and too kamikaze and I flip and we end up rolling two and a half times. Oh I remember God. seeing my buddy in my rear view mirror. He, yeah, he's flipping around in the back of my car. So we land and we're sideways. Funny side note, I used to live in this house right here. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. When we first moved out. Do you want to knock in the, the door house. and intimidate the I'm like, hey, I used to live here. I left my underwear underneath the dresser. Can I get him? And then when we landed and everything stopped, I felt like we were in like a living room somewhere. I felt like, where am I? Like I didn't realize where I was at. Like we all realized I were okay. Then there's this moment of silence and my friend says, it's gonna blow! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we climb out of the car, they convince him it's not gonna blow, they get him to come back down from the dirt road. They like ran, like, <laughs> like they're expecting like slow motion. <laughs> Right. Behind him, yeah. So, I, we can't get the car out, so it's stuck, so we have to jump in my buddy's car, drive home, and uh, and just crappy luck, my dad of all days is home. He's usually at work, and I kind of slide under the radar, but he's home. He's polishing his belt. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he says, how was your day? And I'm like, uh, it wasn't that good. That's like all I say. Funny you ask, Dad. <laughs> wasn't that good. The first thing he says to me, did you get in a wreck? And I made up this whole story about there was this white van and it was like, like swerved, like it was like ran us off the road. And so I, I swerved to save You're the life of my friends. You're Seriously, hero. they could have died. These guys were like drunk, they were shooting shotguns. And it was like this van was coming at me. I had nothing to do, so I swerved off the road. We're so lucky to be alive, but I just want you to know that I did a good evasive move and we're okay, Dad. Can you help me get my car and stuff? Did he buy it? No. <laughs> That's why I'm behind the wheel here. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not driving. Yeah, this isn't true. <laughs>